One of the reasons EWG is focusing on children's health is because of the, the, the unique susceptibility children have. They are in critical uh, periods of development. Exposure to, to pollutants, exposure to, to chemicals may have a much greater impact than it does later in life. And so it's really critical to, to minimize that, that exposure, minimize the potential harm from, from contaminants. Unfortunately, in today's world, children are exposed to a lot of potentially harmful things. They're exposed to air pollution, which causes asthma and other respiratory diseases. They're exposed to pesticides. Those pesticides can cause damage to the infant's developing brain that shows up as reduced intelligence, shortened attention span, disordered behavior. And a third big hazard that confronts children in today's world is lead. Since I got asthma, my parents were like super protective and I couldn't really do a lot of things that other kids could do. Going outside could affect my asthma, so I mostly stayed in the house reading books. In elementary school, I started wheezing because it was really hot in the room. So I was literally about to like pass out and my teacher kept telling me, finish your test, then you can go to the nurse. I'm like, I was literally crying, telling her I need to go to the nurse and I collapsed in the middle of the hallway. They got the nurse and the nurse had to come get me and get a wheelchair. Then I was in the hospital for the longest time. I'm kind of used to it now. It's part of you basically, so you have to make sure your breathing is right. Like it's not something to play with, but like as a kid, you have to make sure your mom had you and they're watching you take your inhaler, taking your nebulizers every two hours and all that stuff. The last 10 years, oh, has been a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. I mean, to the point where it made me a stay-at-home mom. You know what I mean? Because I can't see myself asking someone for permission and because my child barely over there breathing. I wish that other people knew what I didn't know before I knew my child had asthma, and that is that it's very serious. It's nothing to take lightly. It's, not, it's nothing to say, wait a minute, baby, just hold on for a minute. No, it needs immediate attention. When you look at the numbers on children's environmental health, what you see is that a whole series of chronic non-communicable diseases in American children are on the rise. So childhood asthma has increased threefold, 300% since the 1970s. Childhood uh, cancer, uh, the death rate is down, but the incidence of childhood cancer, the number of new cases per 1,000 children, has gone up 40%. Childhood obesity has tripled. Uh, rates of neurological problems are, are skyrocketing. And people ask, well, what's causing this? And I respond by saying, well, it's, it couldn't be genetics. Genetics simply doesn't bring about change that quickly. And so it's environment, and I think it's a combination of toxic chemicals, lifestyle changes. We're beginning to identify some of the specific chemicals that cause these diseases. The overarching mission here is that if we can discover the chemicals that cause disease in children, then we can take action to prevent exposures to those chemicals. As a parent, I know all this information about chemical pollutants, contaminants, which product to buy, which product not to buy, can be extremely overwhelming. But at EWG, we really try to provide information to cut through the noise so that you know what to focus on, places where you can take direct action that may, that, that may benefit your child's health. We are having an impact. Change is happening in the market. We're seeing cosmetics companies, cleaners companies reformulate, but at the same time, there's a significant amount of work to do. There, there's still hundreds of contaminants that we have very little safety information on um, and other contaminants that, that are of concern and are still in products on the market and on the shelves today. With your support and, and with your, your, your involvement in these issues, we think even more change can happen.